Unfortunately, frogs are the most imperiled of all vertebrates, so animals with a backbone. Climate change is increasingly becoming an issue, habitat loss, and then other things like environmental contaminants, and yeah, there's a really long list. When a new species is described, we often know very little about really basic information that is important to assess whether they're in trouble and then to implement the management that's needed to make sure that they have what they need to survive. It's certainly what got me interested in pursuing this as a career. Since 2001, the Academy has been serving the biodiversity of different groups of plants and animals in the Gulf of Guinea Archipelago, which is in West Africa. It was started by my predecessor, Robert Drews. He brought along curators from all different parts of the Academy, and through that work, they built partnerships with different government and non-government organizations that were working in the islands related to biodiversity conservation and also biodiversity education in local communities. I joined in 2012. We've been working to not only document the biodiversity that's there, but also to then translate those results into education materials for primary school children so that they can learn not only about their local biodiversity, but also to learn more sort of typical biology concepts that we all learned in school, but featuring the organisms that they're familiar with. We were really disappointed to not be able to come this fall and to do the education program that we always do, but obviously it wasn't possible to travel and so we worked remotely with our local team there to develop COVID awareness materials that feature the local animals that we already had really nice illustrations of for educational outreach, just demonstrating the different steps to be careful and protect yourself from the potential of exposure. Being able to communicate to the communities that live in these islands that their biodiversity is really unique and special gives them a sense of pride and stewardship of where they come from. 